Hi everyone, today I'm going to make some braised lamb ribs in my Ninja Foodie Grill. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you check out some of my other videos. And for those of you returning, welcome back. I hope you liked today's video. Okay, so I found some lamb ribs in the store. I have never seen lamb ribs. I have never cooked lamb ribs. This is a first and I'm experimenting right here on YouTube. So that's why I've decided I'm just gonna go for broke and use my Ninja Foodie grill to make these. So it's gonna be a two-step process. I'm going to braise them, which is really just baking at a low temperature for a long time. I'm gonna do that first in here. And then at the end, I'm gonna air fry them to get some caramelization. Well, I can't even say that word. At the end, I'm going to air fry them to uh, caramelize them, get them nice and crusty, hopefully. So I'm going to uh, enclose them in this, I've got foil and parchment paper. Someone told me the other day, it's not good to have the foil against your food. And I, didn't know that, so I'm gonna try this and see how it works. I do want some salt on here, and I have this applewood smoked, uh, handcrafted Canadian sea salt. I got it from a specialty store here where I live, so I thought, well, I'm gonna give it a try. I thought smoked salt would be nice on the lamb. So I'm just going to just sprinkle some on. It's very, um, like it's not as crumbly as other salt. It's, it's almost got a moisture to it. And I do like lemon and rosemary with my lamb. So I'm really just going to pile this on here just to impart some flavor. And then I'm going to fold it up. First in the parchment. And then with the foil, I might have to get another piece of foil if this doesn't quite cover everything, which I don't think it will. Yeah, I'll, I'll wrap around with one more piece of foil. Okay. Basically, I want this to cook in its juices. I'm trying to make a little airtight package here. Um, if you haven't seen the lamb ribs, uh, I guess one of the reasons I bought them is because they're cheaper than most um, lamb I've seen out there. It, w it worked out to, there's one and a half pounds in here and it worked out to $9.83 a pound. So, I mean, lamb is pretty pricey stuff. So I, I just thought, well, I'm gonna give it a try, see how I like it. So let's get the grill going here. I'm gonna use the bake function because I wanna bake this low and slow. And I am going to press bake and I want it to be a lot lower than that. Oh, temperature. I am gonna see how low it goes. I want it to be 275 for 90 minutes. So that's an hour and a half. Okay, so I mean that's that's basically what braising is. You're you're just uh, allowing the meat to cook in its own juices, low and slow, like in a crock pot. Um, I do have a braising pan um, that I could use in my oven, but because this was a small amount, I thought why get the whole oven involved when I can use this? It it will, um, you know, it's a it's a much smaller area that we're heating up so I'm pretty sure that probably saves some electricity as well as it doesn't make the whole place warm. All right it is ready for the food. I may have to squish it in there a bit. Yep that's okay and now we're just going to leave it alone and let it cook 
at this low temperature for an hour and a half and uh, then I will take it out of the, the foil and I'm going to try to crisp it up in there. So we'll see you back when it's ready. Okay, let's take a look and see what we have here. This is done. Oh, and if you hear some sudden loud noises, there's guys with uh, leaf blowers out there today. All right, what have we got? Well, it's all still intact. I'm just gonna grab something to lift it out with. See if we can get this out now. I jammed it in there kind of tight, so. Oh, it smells amazing. I don't know if you can see it. Look at that. What we're looking for is something where it is falling off the bones, and I would say it is falling off the bones. So it was cooking for an hour and a half at 275. So it has been and all I added was the sprigs of rosemary and the lemon, which I didn't squeeze. I just piled them on top for some flavor. So I'm gonna get the air fryer going. I would like, I think, 10 minutes. Okay, so you can just add them in like this to the air fryer. I'm probably just gonna brush on about a tablespoon or so of the um, Primal Kitchen Golden Barbecue Sauce. This is one of my favorites. And I, it'll help to, I don't know, I think it'll help it with some, you know what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave one plain and I'm gonna do the other three and see what the difference is. So just wait for that to heat up and then I will put these in there, give them a little brush and uh, we will cook them. Maybe I'll brush on some of this right here while I'm waiting. So that's like not even a teaspoon there, but I'm, I'll put some more on when I get them in. Okay, we're ready to put them in. Okay, we're gonna let that go for a few minutes. I'm going to flip them in a couple minutes, put on a little more sauce, except for that one, and then we'll see how they taste at the end. All right, let's uh, take a look at this. I'm going to, oh, look at that. We're getting some crust on here. I'm just going to give a little flip and maybe just brush a little more sauce on those and I'm leaving this other one alone. I suppose I could have put some in a little jar or something and then done it that way, but I don't know. These are looking good. So is that one. Okay, we're going to be putting them on a plate in less than five minutes and um, See how they taste. Be right back. Whoa, look at these. All right, look at these. They are sizzling. That's the one with no barbecue sauce. These ones have barbecue. So that was about seven minutes. 10, they might have dried out a bit. Um, so, uh, so those are the barbecue sauce. Just going to take a random rib out. There's one unflavored and let's see here. Might be too hot to, to touch. 
touch, but... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one is just the salt. Oh, look at, here come the dogs. They're like, that one's for me. I myself could eat it just like this. Mm. Don't worry, you guys will get yours. You will. Okay, so that is that one. And where did I, there's mine with barbecue sauce. And I, I'm going to estimate that, you know, I didn't use that much barbecue sauce, maybe maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half for, for all of that. <laughs> They're watching me. Mmm, coming. So good. I think I could have cooked them longer. They're, they're tender, they're juicy, um, but they, you know, they really should just fall off the bone a lot easier than they are. Um, but they are, they're fully cooked. There's, um, they're delicious. I would definitely buy these again, especially at that price. Okay, so there's the, the lamb ribs. They, they turned out really good, but like I said, I, maybe next time I might cook them longer so that they, they just slide off the bones. Um, but I'm really going to be enjoying this for dinner tonight. Uh, I don't think I'd do anything else different. Um, if you don't have the air fryer, of course, you can uh, cover them in a dish in the oven, like a braising pan or a pan covered with, you know, something. And uh, bake them in the oven for a couple hours at low heat and then broil them. That would be one way or put them on the grill after you or put them in the instant pot, um, maybe for 20, 30 minutes, then put them under the broiler or in your air fryer various ways you can do this. Uh, the main thing is that step one would be a long slow cook and step two would be trying to get them crispy like this. So that's our, that's our lamb ribs and hope you enjoyed today's video. But let's see what these guys think. You guys ready for a piece of lamb? I'm just blowing it off so you don't burn your little tongues. You're not taking your eyes off them, are you? So who knows how to lay down? Who knows how to lay down? Do you know how to lay down? Oh, you both know how to lay down. Oh, good. Good job. Good job. Okay. Yes. All right. Say bye-bye. Episode 146, scene 2A. Mark. What's that? If you're snapping, why do you have to say Mark? That includes you, Bippy. Quiet on the set. <laughs> Get some. You tell him, Pippi. Teddy, is everything okay now? <laughs>